Today we are going to be talking about apprenticeship training versus uh, two-year trade school. If you're new to the channel, if you could please subscribe and like this video, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, so to start off, I would like to give a little background information about myself. I went the tech school route at my local community college for my training as an apprentice electrician. In my state of North Dakota and the United States, in order to write your test as a journeyman electrician, you have to either have a two-year trade school degree in electrical or 500 some hours uh, in an apprenticeship program um, over four years in like a once a week night class situation. After graduating from trade school, I completed work as an apprentice, got my journeyman license, and then my master's license. This fall will be my fourth year as an instructor for an apprenticeship program, and I have been teaching full time at a community college as an electrician instructor for the last two years, and this fall will be my third year teaching full time at a community college. So if you are just investigating what training route is best for you to become an electrician, my suggestion first would be to look into your local uh, requirements for education for becoming a journeyman electrician. Maybe you don't want to go to an apprenticeship program or trade school to be an electrician. You want to try to learn on your own. That is fine and everything, but the government might force your hand to take a certain route, uh, such as my state's requirement for education. So even if you want to learn on your own, you might not have the choice if you ever wanna become a licensed electrician in your state. The next thing you should look into is whether or not your apprenticeship is going to be union or non-union. The IBEW will require you to have uh, their apprenticeship route um, and go through their apprenticeship program. So depending on your perspective, going to trade school might be a waste of time if you still have to go to night class anyways, since you'll be working as a union apprentice. So that is after you go to trade school, the IBEW might require you to take additional schooling for night classes, even though that might be above and beyond what your local state requirement would make you do. Okay, so let's talk about the two options for electrician and apprentice training. Trade school at a community local, uh, community or technical college, and an apprenticeship program, typically night school once a week for four years. Trade school, let's start with the pros. Trade school will set you up uh, with the best upward mobility career-wise compared to your other options, period. Now I know some of you, you just gotta grind, man, folks might be upset with me saying that and you might have examples of electricians who are industry leaders who never went to trade school and that's all fine and valid and everything, but what I am saying is on average, you will have the best upward mobility as an electrician for future career advancements if you originally pursued this option. In my area, you can't get jobs as an electrical inspector or an electrical instructor, project manager, estimator, or maintenance facility jobs such as a journeyman or a master at let's say a hospital or a school district unless you have a two-year degree in electrical technology. Another pro I will say about the trade school compared to other options is that you'll have more time to focus on school and have more energy for it since you will be a full-time student and a worker part-time versus the other way around. Um, as a college student, you can enjoy your time, make friends and memories, build your own library of resources regarding knowledge of the trade, and have more time to plan out your future. I was a high school student who got average grades. I typically didn't enjoy my time or take pride in my school. In trade school, I graduated with honors and love my time there. I also formed friendships in college that I still maintain to this day. Let's talk about the cons of trade school. Trade school will be a more difficult route if you are already established as far as a family or a mortgage, children, and so on, since it will require you to be a full-time student and a part-time worker, which will leave most of the evenings and weekends devoted to studying or doing homework as well as working. This can be a huge strain on your potential spouse or partner since they will more likely than not will have to pick up your slack from you being committed to school. That isn't to say that you don't, that I don't have students who are in that situation because I definitely do and they make it work. Also, my wife went to college when our first son was a little over one year old and she graduated when he was around five and we also made it work. In economics, the word cost doesn't just mean the price tag on something, but also what opportunity costs is lost because of making a choice. In other words, think of all the wages that are lost because you have to sit in class 30 hours a week on top of the cost of tuition. Speaking of tuition, that brings me to my second con of trade school. This will certainly be the most expensive option. When I went through trade school, the total price of the program was around $15,000, and now that same program is close to the same price, but of course, just a little bit more expensive. 
Since I worked during my summers and used that money towards school on top of having some scholarships and being Pell Grant eligible, I graduated college with around 6K in debt. With the labor shortage for skilled trades, I have noticed that more and more of our local contractors are starting to offer tuition reimbursements as an incentive for working for them. So potentially your contractor might end up paying your student loans anyway, just food for thought. Apprenticeship programs, the pros. An apprenticeship program will allow you to work full-time and go to school part-time, so instead of 30 hours of class week a week over two years, you're looking at four hours of class a week for four years. This can be a huge benefit to non-traditional students who have families and responsibilities at home that wouldn't otherwise allow them to go to school full-time. Another pro to the apprenticeship program is that they are almost always funded by your contractor, leaving you with no student loan debt or cost. Now, here's the tricky part about thinking apprenticeship programs being free. They will make you pay the cost up front um, in the beginning of the year, normally around $1,500, and your contractor will reimburse you that money at the end of the school year. So it will eventually be paid for and you won't have to pay for it, but sometimes not right away. I have also heard of some contractors paying based off of your grades. So if you get an A for the school year, that's 100% paid, B is 80% paid, C is 70% paid, so on and so forth. The cons of apprenticeship training. My first negative thing to say about apprenticeship program route is after working construction all day long from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., you might not be in the mood to sit in class from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Part of my responsibilities as an instructor for community college is taking various education courses at universities so us folks for, from industry can learn the skills needed to teach classes. From taking classes on education, the people who research the psychology of learning would say it's pretty much a no-go to expect anyone, child or adult, to have an attention span to sit in class for four hours after working 10 hours that same day. I definitely noticed the difference between my students at the tech school compared to my students at night school. The students at the apprenticeship program just want to go home and go to bed most nights. The second negative thing to say about apprenticeship programs is that there is going to be a lot more wild card whether or not you have a committed instructor or not. Um, it is probably less of a guarantee that you're going to get someone who creates their own content and designs their own curriculum at the apprenticeship program since they will just be facilitating a course that was designed at the national level versus trade school where it's a requirement that each individual instructor creates their own courses, including tests, quizzes, labs, you get the picture. So to sum it up before you make a choice, number one, check with your local state education requirements for becoming a licensed electrician. Number two, try to forecast your long-term goals as best you can for your career in the electrical industry. And number three, weigh out your pros and cons and look into your region to see what's available. One last thing I want to point out, I have heard the phrase, you don't need to go to school to be an electrician. I think I am going to make a separate video about that, but before you go buying into that advice, make sure you look into your local education requirements for licensure because you may not even have the choice if you ever want to become a licensed journeyman electrician. There you have it everyone, my perspective on the pros and cons of apprenticeship versus tech school. What are your local government education requirements to become a licensed electrician? Please comment that below. Also, what route did you go? Apprenticeship program, trade school, both or neither? Comment that down below too if you would please. And of course, if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much and take care.